You know, Ian, a lot can happen in a year. I do know that, Sean. A whole child can be conceived, gestate, be born. Yes. All that. Oh, oh, yeah. And we did that this year. We made a child. Uh-huh. It gestated. <laughs> and now it's born. Well, we talked about it first. Yes, we did. <laughs> we, we, we planned it out. We planned uh, we, it out. It fat, yeah. <laughs> fit into our schedules. Yep. And, and then we uh, we tried for, uh, for a baby for quite some time. <laughs> we tried. We tried everything we could. And it was uh, it was my doing that, that took so long. I uh-huh. think. Yeah, and I, and just like <laughs> most of these projects, one person does two percent of the work, <laughs> and then the mother <laughs> does the rest. I'm of totally it. the dad here. <laughs> so what are we talking? What are we talking Our about? Our Celtic album Our is Celtic, what we're talking. Yeah. We made a Celtic album a called Celtic, the Emerald Riders. A Celtic infused album. Yeah. We'll say. Uh-huh. Emerald Riders is officially out on all platforms. Links into the description. Yeah, it's actually you know Sean, I was I was uh, riding down here. And what was the first thing I said to you when when we when I opened the door? When you opened the door, you were like, "Oh my god, yeah, the <laughs> yeah. album is awesome!" Yeah, yeah, and I was so excited to listen to it fully. We, it took a year. I did, and we should. You should. Can you find the clip of us live on your channel, Ian and Sean and Don? Oh where, yeah, where we oh, yeah. just I'm had making that moment. an entire documentary behind the scenes, and that's when uh, we both said, "Oh, we should have an Emerald uh, Rider this, Child." This is it? Yeah, uh-huh. and and here the rest we are. Is history. And again, I. Uh, it's my fault. It took so long. No, but, no, it's nobody's fault. But it's also my fault why the album came out so good. Because I'll explain. Because I only can see Sean like for an hour and a half a week. Mm-hmm. He had to really work on it, and your your efforts. It's like a were, conjugal visit. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Your efforts uh-huh. made the album fantastic. Oh, no, well, your, thank, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can we Thank please you delete this whole thing and restart? Yeah. So, if you if you don't know the backstory, though, mm-hmm. you might be a little confused listening to such an epic, yeah, large scope of an album. Right. So we're gonna go through track by track. Do it and talk about it. Yes. Okay. So the very first one mm-hmm. is called what's it called? It's called Into the Celtic Mist. Into the Celtic Mist. So we're doing a track by track analysis. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not on this song. Yeah, you are. You play acoustic guitar. It's been oh. so long, he doesn't even remember playing. I'm on into part the Celtic Mist. Yeah. Uh huh. You play some of the, be- the the background acoustic. Yes. Okay, that's right. Ian is on this track. No, I am on this track. Let me explain. The reason I was like, "What the hell?" is because when we were recording them, we didn't even have names. No. We said, "Here's the here's a, here's yes. something we're working uh-huh. on." Okay, so talk about into the Celtic Mist. So basically, it's Pasha and Kindred are also on this one. Pasha's a great violin player. Yes, Pasha. Oh my God. MVP, Emerald MVP, he made, Pasha. It right? wouldn't be the Emerald Rider. Yeah, this Pasha. album would be really weird if not for Pasha coming in and saving it. Yeah, and totally. It. But uh, Kindred is chanting in Gaelic. Nice. The, it's whatever ish. <laughs> you know? If and, you can't make it out, it's Gaelic. But right. basically, if you translate these, yeah. as we, we used a very, the finest translator, right? It's all just different uh, kind of metaphors for the motherland of Ireland. Nice. Uh, and personifying. Her as like a, a beautiful creature. Great. That's what it's about. So it's basically setting the tone. Yeah, it's it's like it's like the credits for a movie. Because the main character yeah. of the Emerald Rider is a, is the, the landscape. Is the oh. beautiful landscape. I like it. Yeah, it's true. Though everything takes place in a certain land. That's right. So it's just yeah. a, this kind of mystical, ethereal table center for what's to come. Right. Ooh, good. Okay. Which brings us to an Emerald Stone. Oh man. This is where the lore of the Riders begin. You know, I, I gotta say this: the Emerald Stone, your song, that's your baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. For, okay. Before I heard the album in its entirety. Yeah. I told you like that is the best song in the album. Right. Thank now, you. I'm still want to say it's the best song in the album. Okay. But there are many songs on this album. Yes. That, that that are good. And but when you first showed me Emerald Stone, I was like, that's it. It like, is meant to play as an album. It is, but right? Yeah. I said you could stop at Emerald Stone. The album's done. Which is why the story is important. Uh, but essentially, the Emerald Riders, of which we are the Emerald Riders, right? Every generation has two. Yes. Okay. But I think it's, it's true. In, in the in future times, I fall. I, I... <laughs> Don't, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So the thing about the Riders is not just about us. It's like we're carrying on this legacy. Yes, a legacy. That came long before us, 
long after us, right. and every generation, two riders are born to protect the homeland in times of need. How sad is it that I'm one of them? <laughs> the generation really got you. Yeah. <laughs> very, very badly. They're like, oh crap. But hey, it's, a, it's, it's random. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's a crapshoot. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have some winners. <laughs> yeah. And then you get me. And then you're going to have us. Yes. You know? it, uh, continue. Emerald Stone. So essentially, yeah. Emerald Stone. It's kind of telling a little bit of the backstory of, of the Riders. Yeah. It's also foreshadowing what is about to happen and the calling forth of this strange kind of spirit that has been summoned, which we'll get into later. Can I ask you a question about Emerald yeah. Stone? Is there, is there a particular mode that it's in? Or, um, like, key? it's haunting to me. Well, the thing is, it's... it's uh, waltz in D minor. D minor, okay. Which is what I thought that Celtic music sounded like. Right, okay, so it's, it's an Aeolian, Aeolian, D Aeolian mode. It has this nice haunting sound yeah. to it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and I really, I really enjoy it. Good, but then, good, yeah. like everything that we'll talk about, there's F and G, and it's, yeah. It goes crazy. Yeah. Right. It goes nuts. So, but that's basically it. That, so that's why we're, we're getting into rider territory. Mm -hmm. The, the evil, the ancient evil is here now, which leads us to track three. Mm -hmm. We ride. We ride. Mm -hmm. Which, we ride, is what started the whole entire... Yeah, that was the first one we had. That You could hear bits and pieces of it in yeah, our first Yeah, in the live feed. session that spurred on the entire thing. We ride is kind of was born. Yeah, we ride was the cornerstone or keystone to yeah, the sure. album. Mm -hmm. And everything kind of formed into place, but there are songs on it that are even better. But we ride was... Um, I mean, we were at the... That's a journey. We were at the fair, right? Yeah, the lyrics uh, yeah before that. we were. And and it is a journey. Yeah, and so so that song is each of us kind of being alerted to what's happening. Yes. Uh huh. And, and it's like, aware, all right, okay. this is like our this is what we were called to do. It's time. It's time. You know, we were both doing our own thing There's before a subtle that. In the wind. There, there is. Uh huh. <laughs> and then it ends with just like a killer solo. Oh god, his oh, solo. Oh, the solo. At oh, the god. end, his solo is. I went to another place there. That's not my normal style. Yeah, no. But again, I have no choice. I'm a rider. I have to do what. It, it just, I thought the soul was so tasty, so delicious. It like had spank all over. Mm. Yeah, very spanky. <laughs> Which leads us to the fourth track, a poem. A poem. Oh. Right. Yeah. Do you want to talk about this one? Well, the poem is a. Uh, I guess a, um, it has a. Uh, my my two kids are in it. That's and, right. And, and uh, we made it sound like a chorus of kids. The whole the whole purpose of it was to kind of like was it pre prelude? Or it's a foretelling. A foretelling uh -huh. of how, like what the riders need to do. We don't know it, but it's actually the um, the key to how the riders can resolve the issue and win the day. That's and right. And it's, it's an ancient poem that gets passed on through the lands, and these kids sing it. But it's like. We don't know what it is, but it kind of like a riddle. Yeah, a riddle, a riddle, and it comes true at the end of the uh, of the album. There we go. Really cool. Which leads us right into the Infinite Horizon. Ah, the Infinite Horizon. This is, this is Ian's masterwork. <laughs> no, I would say. I think I think it's actually pretty shed down. I like it. Like, um, I said this on my, on my live feed, but like when we came in, I picked up um, I picked up one of your guitars. Was it the Majesty or something? Or maybe no, Ernie. It was Ernie Ball or something. Mm -hmm. And I just laid this riff down. It just came out of my fingers, and I was like, you know what? Like, I think I want... We had just seen Queens of the Stone Age. Yes. We, we had just seen Queens of the Stone Age. And I was like, you know, I want to write a Queens of the Stone Age type riff with this Celtic feel. And I think we nailed it. Oh, dude, you crushed it. You know, and he... I, I want to let you know, like, you came up with the part for the, um... Uh, the solo that that da, 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 da. and then we recorded it. I wanted to get that lateralis feel where oh. it's like da, 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 oh, it's and, so good. and thick, and, and I was very happy with it. And, uh, the solo is very minimalistic, but at the same time, I think gritty and appropriate. I, I really like the way it came out. And it's funny because this is right after your kids are in it. Yeah. So in the story, you as the father are being called oh. Oh, yeah. into service. Yes, that's right. And the song is like, oh, I gotta do this. <laughs> I forgot like, the lyrics. Man, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm like, oh God, so I'm angry in this mm -hmm. song. That's why, it's, that's why it's rocking because yeah. he's agitated. He's like, oh, I, I gotta, gotta wake up, uh, my boots on, right. and my battle axe. Uh, I'm like, oh God. So uh, I say, bring it in the song, bring it. And then Fireside, uh, a short yet sweet instrumental that we pretty much documented which live, which is tracked live on one of the blogs. And this is us meeting. Yes. In the in the forest, us riding from our respective places, mm -hmm. and us just kind of like joining over a, a romantic fireside. <laughs> I was gonna say a cup of lager, or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, and, and meeting for the first time, realizing we've been called upon our duties, knowing and, that and, this is about to go down, and accepting the fate, no matter mm -hmm. what happens. That's right. Yeah. Which brings us to the Clericon. Ah. 
Now this is a collaboration. A uh, big collaboration. We got my man Shatter Kung Pao Shatter. on this. Yep. Justin Mitchell Justin. is on this. Yep. And we are, oh, this is actually the preliminary bad guy. The Clericon is a creature of lore and in Celtic lore. It's kind of like a leprechaun, but more mischievous, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, like, it kind of like hangs out in a bar and kind of like messes with people, which is part of the sound. Part of the sound that I actually. wanted, yeah. Uh, well, because that line, I, 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 yeah. did I come up with that line? And, yeah. and I pictured him being like, hey, 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 yeah. and I kind of uh, like wrote that Messing with thing. people. And it came out very circusy and cool. And yeah. I thought that was nice. Because the thing about this cleric on is he's the one that actually, actually summons the evil. Yes. All right, so he's the one that cast the spell yeah. to like bring out, but maybe he bit off a little bit. More than he could chew, he's like, oh no. Right, and uh, what's cool about this song is there is like, there's like diminished vibe in that song, and so you can hear it. It's, it's like there's a weirdness going on, and it sounds good, but that's the moment where he realizes, okay, I summoned something bigger yes. than I can control. Which brings us to the siren song. Oh, yes. So this is further on in the journey. We've met at the fireside, but we've decided to scope out different paths. Yes. Right? <laughs> so I'm going my own way, and then my ears hear something. Yep. Right? What is it? Ah, uh, the sirens. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, the a siren. siren. A siren. Yeah, yeah one, siren. one smoking hot babe in the woods that's distracting travelers and by the way we wrote this whole plot so uh -huh. yeah yeah except before i made kindred do it yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this song has a lot of personal meaning to me yeah, there you go but uh yeah essentially this is uh kindred as the forest siren yep. getting ready to entrap sensing a rider approaching and getting ready to entrap what's the rider. line in it about like um don't get used to the skin you're in or something. Or, mm. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool line that was written. I like it when I, when I hear it. But very cool haunt. Not haunting, but alluring song. You can hear it. Yeah. Oh, yes. cool. Excellent. Yeah. Which brings us to uh, the next one. The bit a mar mar f. The one we can't even pronounce. But the one we can't pronounce, but it means but it means something really really interesting. And Pasha's on this one. Yes. This yeah. Is, it's like Pasha just like slang. Slang. It. Interlude. This is essentially. A, Kind of us just riding on our way. Yeah. You know, like, all right, this is it. This is us riding. Yep. We're going our separate ways. We're finding out how to get here. And if it, like, it has, you can hear us up the mountains. You can hear the wind. It, I think the song came really well with this imagery. Yeah, exactly. You're trying to get the, the lay of the land. Yeah, yeah. And then we get to Reminder. Reminder. Which is the most singer song writey yeah. one. Is that the song that the... you played on? That's one I played on the news. On the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It is, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Uh huh. And this is essentially. <laughs> My reaction to like, okay, I get it. I'm a rider, and I'm supposed to not be distracted by the siren. But, it, but it's listen. This is, this is my justification for essentially going off the beast path. And I think, he leaves. He leaves Rider Stitch on and, his own. Well, I think once you hear the song, you'll see where I was coming from. We were born okay. to Emerald Stone. Yeah. Uh huh. It's okay. Next is for whom the ride tolls. Yes, an instrumental. Yes. Yes. Me and Justin yes. did this. Yep. Justin. Famous search find search, search, find search. Title of the channel, All right? So this right here starts out with a massive delayed harmonic. Yes. This is the sound of me being trapped and calling for Ian's help. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so this echoing harmonic is a beacon that I send out. This like, bro, I'm I'm sorry, but I need some help right now. Right. Okay. So that's essentially all that is, and Ian Ian gets the call. I do get the call because mm -hmm. I can sense it. Even, then, though we, even though we just met. You know, yeah, like, he's like, my brother. He's like, this, this freaking guy. <laughs> like, he had one what? job to do. Well, yeah, You're go. supposed to go get some, like, forest twigs for the fire, for Fireside Part 2, and now <laughs> I gotta go yeah. break you out. You're being seduced. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So how do you break me out? Um, well, wait, well, oh, how do I break you out? Well, you don't want to leave me behind, so... Oh, no rider left behind. No oh, rider okay. left behind. Oh, right. Is that the next song? Yeah. Oh, good, uh -huh. okay, no, yeah. yeah. So that's that's, that's answering the call. Oh. I was like, how do we break you? So this is like the sing-songy, yeah, drinking me. song. This is me realizing, like, there's no rider left behind. I have to go get you, uh -huh. right? And it's very Beatles-esque. <laughs> sure, yeah. No, it is. But I'm, better. But better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and it's, it's a story of the reminder, like, you cannot leave a rider behind no matter what. No and matter how much of an asshole he is and, you know, deserts you for... And it goes through past instances of riders yeah, needing riders to help the haze, other. Done in haze. Done in haze. Right? And the, the this guy <laughs> This guy pulls characters out of thin air and writes backstories like you wouldn't believe. The Dun and Hayes prequel album, maybe maybe next. But yeah, so oh this is God. the sing songy thing that yeah. 
in a very bar manner, yeah. recalls the tale of how you actually say When we play this live, this is where the lights in the crowd turn on and everyone sings along. Now we're, cause now we're all riders. Yes, yes. Right? There's only two official ones, but we're all riders. That's why we ride. We ride, we ride. Yeah. So then Ian uh, breaks me out. Next song? Uh, do you want to tell how, how I was trapped in an amulet? Oh, you're trapped, yeah, yeah. trapped in an amulet. The, the <laughs> siren rocks. <laughs> I break. I, and then Ian smashes. I an smash. <laughs> I smash this. He's inside of a stone, <laughs> uh, in a chest, <laughs> and I take my battle axe and I smash it and break him out. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not all that gets broken out. What happens? Which we'll oh, talk oh, to yeah, later. Yeah, right? the other three sirens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh -huh. Okay. Yep. All right. So after that, we go to the storm. Yes. All right, this is Farron. Yeah. Crushing a vocal I performer. mean, like, Farron's like, so good. forget Evanescence. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know? Farron. Farron. Oh, slaying it. Her voice is so powerful on this. Oh, it's ridiculous. It is unbelievable. When she comes in and you drop the distortion, boom, and, like, it, it, it's as her vocal cords are, like, this big. The most powerful singer by far I've ever heard. I've got to turn the gain on the mics all the way down, or she'll blow them out. Like, she's, it's insane. Yeah. Her, yeah, awesome. it, it, it's awesome. That's the that's the storm coming. That now it now it's but, the Clericon has summoned this ancient power. Yeah. And the, this song is about the power turning on its summoner. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then destroying the Clericon. And then like now now this thing's in charge. Yeah, you see the gray clouds like coming. It's it's now on. Yeah. yeah. Which brings us to the next one, Rooted. That's a song that you Yep, this and is. I, I'm not, I wrote this one. I had Kendrick come along Kendrick. and sing it. Yep. Right? Because this is kind of like the aftermath of the siren. Where essentially, when you free me from the amulet, yeah. these uh, these wind walkers are, are also now a, escaped. Been released. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So they're following us. Yeah, because they're, they're onto your pheromones now. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, they, they've got that. They were trapped in the vicinity. Oh with my you. god, yeah, exactly. And they're, they're just, they're, they're insatiable. They're, they, they're, they're like will o wisps mm -hmm. for those who like the, who like the movie Brave. Yep, so. <laughs> exactly. And they're just bearing down on us. So we're riding towards the storm. Yes. We have these banshees at our at our heels. Floating. Right? And we're, we are riding we're on our steeds. Which brings us to the next one. Neil Saugaloch. <laughs> oh. Right? Bless you. <laughs> that that that's that's Gaelic for it rides. It rides. Right? Yes. Because this is this is it. This is us just like riding. Yes. Me and, me and pa Pasha slaying it. Oh, and it's on the it, it's very dramatic the song. It, and it's a, it's essentially chord progression wise. I, I don't want to call it a loop, but it resets and okay. it keeps resetting. Okay. Which is us just like riding, riding, riding. Right. Kind of like the scene from Monty Python on the Holy Grail where the guy in the night is running towards the camera and then looks back and then he's running again. He's in the same place and looks back. And he's running in the same place, looks back, and then all of a sudden he jumps in front of you. That's exactly yeah, yeah, it. Okay. <laughs> so this is, so the funny thing is we actually made a music video for this a couple weeks ago. And a lot of people liked it, but one of the criticisms was, well, it seems kind of repetitive. But in the scope of the story, what's happening is we're riding. Is we're riding and we have the Banshees in the storm. We've, what all we do is, the great thing about this is we don't actually do anything. We just ride. That's right, we sit on like, the we, we don't resolve any conflict, but we ride and it works itself out because we lead the Banshees to the storm. And while we're riding, we don't even realize this, but the storm and the Banshees collide. Yeah, yeah. And then they just kind of like take care of each other. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just, we're just riding. We're like, what do we do? We, yeah, we're not, <laughs> what, like, Sean, we're, what do we do? we're born to ride. We don't know exactly what's happening. There's a Taco Bell event. Let's go. But, it, but it's working out, uh, right? Uh, and it just keeps resetting, just like the legend of the riders just keeps resetting and happening over. No, I like I like the song. It's good. Which leads us to victory. Oh, victory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Another sing along that yeah. I just pictured. I just pictured the ending of Star Wars. With, yeah, with Hans and Luke where, where the they're like putting the medals on. And, and Chewie's the... <laughs> there, but it's me and you. <laughs> The whole crowd of people. That 100%, yeah. the scene from the first Star Wars movie yeah. at the end was basically the entire thing of us writing the victory song. Yeah, we had the horns of uh, the round. Uh, 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 <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. I love for. victory. Victory is hilarious. Victory is great. Every time I hear, I, every time I hear victory. It's and the ending, I think, is the best ending ever written. But you need to check out the vlog for that. Yeah. Because it's us what? building it. Oh, the, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of that in the album too. It's, yeah. it's, it's a really fun song. And so, so essentially, that's the end of the story. Yeah. But that's not the end of the album. No. The ride remains the same. The ride that is the last track, and it's a good track. 
So, as legend goes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, this this happened in an alternate dimension. Not of our time, but not, not of our time. Uh, right. Right? Yeah. And so, uh, hundreds, if not thousands of millennia into the future, a child picks up a record, and he puts it on his record, but he's like, what's this? What's this? I don't understand. What, what is this? What's this green blank vinyl? Oh, yeah. Right? Puts it on his record player. Here's, here's this, right? Which on the track, you hear the, the vinyl of it. It's like, oh, this is kind of like degraded quality or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Jumanji style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. He's, he's, it. he's all part of it. And he gets the whole tale. That's a good foreshadowing. That's exactly yeah. what we're trying to do in the album. You'll hear it's, it's and then you're in. Yes. Yeah. So The Ride Remains the Same is essentially our take on the song, which is Zeppelin. Celtic style. Yeah. Uh-huh. Celtic freestyle. I, I went for a lot of Jimmy Page type of things in this. <laughs> Which I think yeah, which, which and again, us being different writers at the same time, yeah. we go back and forth between kind of our takes on yeah. what that means. Yes. So you can tell it's like Ian's part, my part, Ian's part, my part, breakdown, Ian's part, my part. Yeah. And then it just ends with this guy crushing the, the freaking riff or solo. Oh, oh it's so it's so good. I love I love the ride remains thing. Yeah, the ride remains same is a yeah. very cool song. You should have seen us writing that. It was like, you know, it was like we were just on fire. We should do this, do this, no this. Yeah. Let me do uh, this. Okay, do this two times. Andrea do this. was here documenting. She's like, "What are you guys even on?" Yeah, yeah we're like, so we have this like super complex piece of music. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. But it came out really well. Right, I mean, the same. And, and now we're here. Mm -hmm. And a lot can happen in a year, Sean. A lot can. Yeah. A lot has. A lot has. What will happen in the next year? I don't know, but the uh, the foreshadowing is Ryder Stitch. Falls into hard times. Falls ill. Falls this is not the end of the Emerald Riders. This is only the beginning. Only the beginning. Right? Yep. So there's a lot to come. <laughs> it's my fault. I can only be here for an hour and a half a week. <laughs> I'll take what I can get at this yeah, point. I'll, I'll be, I'll desperate be time. I'm sure I'll be there in some sense. So. <laughs> yeah, you'll be, yeah, your spirit will be there. Go listen to the album. See what, see what you think. You know, It's a fun listen. Let us know your favorite tracks. Or if you have any more questions about the lore. Because I want to I wanna get ahead of this and make the official canon work before, you know, the fanfic comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like, all the artwork. Work. Yeah, I just want to kind of set the record straight. Oh, the man. Uh, I forgot about that stuff. Also, right. I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Angelico Journey. Journey Instruments for being the Emerald Bass and Emerald Guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's great. But yeah, let us know what your favorite tracks are and enjoy the album. <laughs>